Seventh grade illustrative mathematics, unit seven, lesson 11, slicing solids. Problem number one, a cube is cut into two pieces by a single slice that passes through points A, B, and C. What shape is the cross section? Here's the slice through points A, B, and C, and you can see that the cross section is in the shape of a rectangle, just like this green face is a rectangle. Problem number two, Describe how to slice the three-dimensional figure to result in each cross-section. Slice parallel to a face. And if you looked at it straight on, the cross-section would look like this. Slice perpendicular to a face. And if you looked at it straight on, the shape of the cross-section would be a trapezoid, just like this cross-section. Problem number three. Here are two three-dimensional figures. Describe a way to slice one of the figures so that the cross section is a rectangle. Slice parallel to a rectangular face, and you can see that the cross section is in the shape of a rectangle. Number four, each row contains the degree measures of two supplementary angles. Complete the table. The sum of two supplementary angles is 180 degrees. 80 degrees plus 100 degrees equals 180 degrees. 25 degrees plus 155 degrees equals 180 degrees. 119 degrees plus 61 degrees equals 180 degrees. When the measure of an angle is x, or an unknown measure, we can find the measure of its supplement angle by subtracting x from 180. Problem number five. Two months ago, the price in dollars of a cell phone was C. A. Last month, the price of the phone increased by 10%. Write an expression for the price of the phone last month. 1C or C represents the price of the phone two months ago. And this month, the price increased by 10%. So we need to add 10% of the price of the phone from last month. Since 10% of 1 is 1 tenth, we need to add one-tenth to one C, so we can start with one C plus one-tenth C. The expression that represents the price of the phone after the 10% increase is 1.1 C. B. This month, the price of the phone decreased by 10%. Write an expression for the price of the phone this month. Remember, this month, the price of the phone decreased by 10%. We need to start with the price of the phone from last month. That's 1.1C. And then we need to subtract 10% of 1.1C. Since 10% of 1.1C is 0.11C, then we can write the expression 1.1C minus 0.11C. And that is 0.99C. So the expression that represents the price of the phone this month is 0.99C. C. Is the price of the phone this month the same as it was two months ago? Explain your reasoning. No. The phone is cheaper this month because 0.99 times C is less than 1 times C.